to our channel. Today we are on our way out to Kate's fish camp and we're going to go camping for the night. We're gonna go on a boat. Either on a boat or canoeing. So <laughs> hopefully our best friends come out. We're not sure if they're coming out or not. I wouldn't know because this is currently my phone situation. We got everything packed up. This is what happens when I let Brandon pack. Everything's all over the place. We're just getting gas right now and then we're getting some ice and some wood. We're gonna head out there. All right guys, so we made it to the campsite. We'll do a quick pan around so you can see the woods. So this is where we're staying tonight. The water's down there. We're gonna pop out this tent and Then we're gonna set it up and then go get our boat and start going on the lake going fishing. here on the lake I'm right doing now. all the work. He is not. I just put my paddle down. <laughs> so we're out here right now and we rented a, a stump knocker which is just a flat bottom boat. So we're staying at Kate's Fish Camp. It's nine dollars per person per night which is really good compared to a lot of the other places that I looked at. With your stay, if you do um, camping, you get a free canoe or you get half off on a boat and their rentals are only $20 anyways for six hours. Or $30 for an entire day. Yeah, or $30 for an entire day. We, we wanted to do the boat instead of the canoe, so we ended up only paying $10 for six hours, which is really good because usually they're really expensive when it comes to rentals not here but other places we decided to go ahead and do our fishing and going out on the boat now and this is what we're going down we're going towards noonan's lake right noonan's lake and then the opposite way is prairie creek we're going down here now and yeah so i'll set you guys up to go with us Brandon thinks that we went fishing right down there at that tip. So, this is where we are now. 
So, we've been out here for six hours. <laughs> we've been out here for 30 minutes. We haven't caught anything. Brian's gotten caught twice or three times now. He's being a jerk rocking the boat. Can you imagine if I just right at the bottom? <laughs> so, now I guess we're gonna move the boat out there. We're kind of right here. She got me doing all the work. She's not even helping. That's what happens when you piss me off. She's so mean to me. FWC just came to us. I thought we were in trouble. Yeah, I don't have my fishing license with me. I left my, my wallet in the truck. She came out here to interview us. He just told us that a lot of people are saying that the fishing is bad today. Which is no bueno, but down in Orlando when it's cold, the fish bite. The best. Yeah, here it seems like it's the opposite. So this is Noonan's Lake. It keeps going all the way around, and then we came from over there, right in that little area right here, and we paddled two hours and got right here. I'm just kidding. <laughs> There's no fish out there. Here's the deal. Brandon comes out here. Anywhere we go to go fishing with the expectation that we're going to catch a bunch of fish. I come out here because, you know, I'm an optimist. And I just come out here for the experience to enjoy life. Optimist. Pessimist. Pess pess pessimist. 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 Did you show them our makeshift anchors? Mine's a PVC pipe with concrete inside of it. I caught about seven, seven, ten pounders, ten pound channel cats. What'd you catch? We're pulling in our anchors and we're just gonna let Mother Nature take us back. And then we're gonna fish the canal a little bit. We're gonna start heading back towards there. And um, we do have six hours to rent the boat. But I don't think we're gonna use the whole six hours just because it's so choppy out here for me. We're gonna go back and get everything set up, like all of our blankets and stuff like that, and then we're gonna build a fire, and we're gonna probably get our little cooking area ready. We just brought some bricks with us and a, um, a grill grate so we can cook on top of, and that's how we're gonna cook our dinner tonight. We brought some chicken with us and some pork chops. I don't know which one we're gonna have. change cameras because our other camera died and we still don't have any batteries for it so we're going to set up the fire and then we're going to set up our beds for the night this is where we're gonna be for the night we're just gonna we push these two together yeah so we're gonna put all the blankets on here and as you can see there's plenty of room in this tent we're gonna have a little fire right here and we have chairs to set up so now we're gonna get the camp or the the fire going and I'm probably gonna put this down for uh, a time lapse or something, so we'll see you. We got the fire started. Is it, is it heating up? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. 
We got the heater going, which is great. There's a bee in here. I'm gonna go ahead and get this going and make the bed. We got our firewood that we spent six dollars on trying to get it to light. We got Chef Tiffany over there cooking up some chicken with her janky tongs. Yeah, Brandon broke the They're tongs. 88 cents from Walmart. If you buy these, just consider them throwaways because they bend too easy. Got some chicken. We got three pieces. I'll have two. She'll have one. So, we put wood on the side of our little grill to keep the heat in. It's cooking our chicken nicely. This is our little friend over here. Our food cooking over there. It's almost done. We got some chicken corn on the grill. And we got our nice fire going. We got the screen up to watch a movie. We set up the little projector so we can watch a movie. The only thing that would load for us was the mummy. So that's what we're gonna watch. But we got our fire going and I don't know if you could see that, but we had that going over there and it just finished our food. And Brandon's over here getting a pot with boiled water ready in it so we can put it over the fire while we eat and we can make some hot chocolate when we're done. So I'm really excited. This is what we got. We got chicken, corn on the cob, and kidney beans. And our eyes are on fire from the smoke. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna go eat and try to watch a movie, and we'll see you guys in a little bit. Hopefully, the other camera is charged by then. Yep. So we're all snuggled up here in our tent. Got it nice and warm. Got the space heater going. Let me see if I can make this. Got the Ryobi camping light. Then, by the way, we can charge the phone on that. Give them a grand tour. There it is. This is our humble abode for the night. Yep. It's probably about 70 degrees in here. That's what, 30, you hold that up. 30 something out. We tried to watch a movie, but the internet just wasn't that good. But that's all right. We're all tuckered out now. And it's only 8, 8 p.m., so <laughs> it's not even 8.30. So if you need to get back on a schedule go camping so I don't know what the plan is for tomorrow but I think we're either gonna go fishing on the shoreline over there or we might rent <laughs> Brandon's got this right above my head and it's scaring the it crap slips. out of me <laughs> but yeah so I don't know if we're gonna do shoreline fishing tomorrow morning or if we're gonna run a canoe yeah or a canoe or a, a boat again the boat was fun did you have fun yeah yeah so now we're in the tent and we have the heater on and it has it really comfy in here and we're sleeping on two twin air mattresses pushed together and they're a little uh under inflated yeah but the, the guys the, the guy was nice he uh used his air compressor and pumped them up for us yeah so now we're probably either gonna pick a movie to watch on Brandon's phone or we're just gonna watch Parks and Recs. We'll see you guys in the morning and in the morning we're gonna make <laughs> we're gonna make eggs and corned beef hash on the fire. So we will see you then. So it's 
about 6 a.m. We've been up for an hour. And it's raining. And we're attempting to cook. This is the end of our camping trip. It has rained constantly all night. The weatherman's a liar. There's, con there's a conspiracy behind it, I'm sure. There's water coming in from everywhere. The air mattresses went flat. We tried to make corned beef hash, but that didn't work. So it looks like McDonald's for breakfast. It's soaked everywhere. So that's our camping trip. What I did was I curled back up in the spot that wasn't wet and I went back to bed. And left me to suffer by myself. Whatever. Alright, so we're all packed up now. This is... This is it. This is Sunday. It's pretty rough. I'm keeping a positive attitude. Somebody's not. Isn't this camper cute? This one too. Tried to ignore the rain and it didn't work too well. <laughs> Everything's soaked, camera bag was soaked. Yeah. So, here we are. We're just gonna go get some food. And then I guess that's it. It's been three days since that last video. We got stuck, then we swerved, hit a deer. Don't say that. And we were stuck in the middle of the woods for three days. Nobody would call, nobody would answer. You're such a liar. It's really been four days that we were stuck out there. <laughs> All right guys, so we didn't get to go fishing and go back out on the boat today because it was pouring rain. We came back home, took showers, got all the smoke smell off. And now we're sitting down editing and Brandon's doing something. But we hope you guys enjoyed. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Press that subscribe button and we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye. Oh. And now I know my